Earlier this year we've managed to gain Freedom Foods approval for the Potter's Premium Rearing Aviary. We've had the system for three years in October now, so we've successfully reared seven batches on the system. In the early stages Freedom Foods were very complimentary about the benefits of rearing pullets on this type of system. Uh, however, they had issues with the early containment that we were doing. So we were holding the birds in the system for about three to four weeks of age. Um, but uh, Freedom Foods felt containing the birds uh, was against their natural behavioural instincts. So what we um, did was some trial work where we had Freedom Foods and the RSPCA coming in on a regular basis to monitor that. And what we now do is brood the birds on the system, uh, but with the module fronts open, which means that the chicks are able to access the litter from day one. And what we actually found was um, from about 48 hours, so two to three days of age, the birds were happily uh, exiting the system, using the ramps and going down to the litter and then coming back in. So what we actually found that as a highly experienced rearers, we weren't giving chicks enough credit for how well they would use ramps um, and come back into the system. So as you may be able to appreciate, instead of a bird being trained from four, maybe five weeks of age as we were doing previously, we were literally training them um, from two days of age. So by the time they transfer to our customers at 16 weeks, the training process is completely done for them and it becomes a very stress-free transfer for the birds. I believe so. We do have um, throughout the business a number of um, jump start units. We have a Potter's designed Christmas tree unit um, and birds do perform well off those systems. There is no doubt in that. However, what we have seen off the premium aviary is far superior results. Because the, stre the, the transfer is so stress-free, they're going from a rearing system which mimics the laying system all feed and water is on the um, on the rearing system, which you don't get in any of the other layings, any of the other rearing systems. So that means when the bird transfers, she doesn't go backwards, she doesn't stand still, she just takes straight to uh, to the system. So what we've actually seen is an advantage of about five to seven eggs over and above uh, our other rearing systems. Uh, the birds are depopulating with 85% feather cover and we've also seen customers um, new builds with less than 3% mortality and I've equally had customers who've had flocks for a number of years who've transferred uh, from taking birds off a, a Christmas tree system have had 10% mortality off the premium aviary they've come down to less than 5% and we feel that is totally uh, reflected from the, the stress-free transfer that the birds have had. Uh, we're obviously able to go out into the marketplace and offer it to other rearers uh, who've expressed a lot of interest in the system in the past but have, uh, have perhaps not wanted to, uh, to have the capital expenditure without Freedom Foods approval. As a rearing business uh, we're certainly seeing the demand increase and the real um, telling sign is that anybody that has had birth off the system has wanted to come back. Uh, we may have originally done introductory deals to encourage people to have birds off the system because it does command a higher premium. There's a huge investment in the equipment and every one of those has come back and wanted to pay uh, the 40, pre 40 pence premium or, or even more because of the higher egg numbers they're seeing and the reduced mortality and, uh, and just a lot less stress early on for the birds. And of course for the staff, if you're not having to put birds to bed for the first seven to ten days or even longer with a lot of staff, it, um, it just makes life easier for everybody. Most definitely, yes. We haven't seen anybody that hasn't seen at least five to seven eggs more, so on average that's sort of 50 to 70 pence. Uh, people will spend anywhere between 30 and 40p on a bespoke vaccination program, which may cover the challenges your birds uh, faced last year, but equally the disease challenges changed this year. Whereas we feel the rearing system is a constant, and anybody that we've invited to come and look at the system has, has realised and bought into the benefits of why they should come off the system. Yeah, very much. It's all from ground level. Uh, so even for somebody as, uh, as vertically challenged as myself, you can see birds up on the top of the system uh, without any issue. It certainly brings a lot of benefits um, to the early rearing because you are brooding the birds almost at waist height uh, as opposed to down on the ground. So that means you're able to observe the chick quality far better than you could when they're on the ground. Uh, so we feel that the, the grading uh, of the birds is much easier. And what we're then finding is uh, with every batch we've had, we've seen 80% evenness by eight weeks of age. That really is quite unheard of in, in our standard multi-tier systems where there's a lot more opportunities for the birds or the chicks to get away from you. 
So it is more labour intensive for the rearing staff early on because rather than all the birds being on the floor, you've got individual modules to check. Um, but really the, the benefits are for the, the, the birds and that's really what, what counts. The smaller brooding areas, because it's roughly three metres by two metres each module, means it's much easier to vaccinate them. We can access them much better for water and spray vaccines, uh, much easier to weigh them. Uh, the only uh, disadvantage maybe or slightly more challenging uh, job for my staff is that we're training to put them to bed, which you wouldn't do in a standard Christmas tree or jump start system. But again, that's one of the, the benefits that we want to bring to our customers, that we are doing the work for them. Um, and not when they're bringing a bird into the laying house and it's got all the challenges of coming into lay. Um, that, that stress factor is already out of the way. Uh, one of the benefits that we didn't anticipate um, was the ease of vaccinating the birds uh, for uh, any in-house vaccination. So many customers require it now. For example, if they have sheep, uh, they're required to do an Aerovac vaccination. Uh, so that's why we need to pick every single bird up within the house and if that's in a standard uh, multi-tier rearing house you would need to raise the slats out the way, probably raise half of the drinkers, lower the feed, You're, it's quite a stress for the birds, they've suddenly got a team of men in the house driving them around. In the premium aviary what we're able to do is put the birds to bed as they normally would do on a daily basis and then we can contain them into the system and we're then able to work down the house as if you would in almost like an old cage house that you would empty the modules behind you but what that means is the bird is eating and drinking you take her off the system injector and you're placing her straight back onto the system onto feed and water so there is no downtime for the bird no stress no um, reduction of feed and water so we're not seeing any loss in body weight which we certainly can do in uh, in some of the other houses one of the other benefits that we've seen is the behavioural differences um, in rear, which we really did think all the benefits would be for the customer. So it would be about the training, they would see more eggs, um, and potentially better feather wear and mortality, the things we've spoken about. But actually in rear, we are seeing a much calmer, happier bird. I've sat on Free Range Council and uh, Freedom Foods groups for a number of years, and when people have talked about happy hens, to be honest, I've thought it's a little bit of a cliche, uh, but I truly see happy hens in this premium rearing aviary that they are so content in their environment. When we are walking around the house, we're not driving them away from feed and water because that's all on the system. Um, they're happily perching across the system and they're able to sort out their, um, their pecking order, if you like. Uh, there's a lot more dust bathing occurs and a lot more preening, uh, self-preening and preening of one another's, uh, one another, which is just not a uh, behaviour that we will see in standard rearing houses or contributing to that reduction in stress. We feel that the design of the system is what contributes to the birds depopulating at least a week ahead of target, which we've experienced with every flock that we've had through, multiple breeds. The way in which the birds are brooded, the, le the brooding level has all of the birds' drinking requirement and at least two thirds of their feed requirements. So when they have full use of the system, uh, they have far more than is required. And due to the amount of perching, there's almost six centimetres of perching per bird, which is three times the feed and food requirement, it does mean that there is very little competition for food and water, uh, which does allow for an increased um, body weight. And that certainly is contributing to uh, the ability to bring, bring birds in to lay sooner um, and certainly is helping with this increase in egg numbers that our customers are seeing.